Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin, welcome back to my channel. So in case you've been wondering what I've been up to these past few weeks, um, this would be it. I have been scavenging the internet to find the best deals on all of the carriages from Barbie movies, just because I feel like the Barbie movie carriages were such an iconic part of my childhood and I feel like a lot of your guys' as well. I know I had the Rapunzel one and the Princess and the Popper one, although I think the Rapunzel one might have been my sister's but she let me play with it as well. And I've talked to a few of you guys and you've told me the ones that you've had and so I thought it would just be a fun idea to put them all into one video and rank them because why not? And so we have 12 carriages here. There's 36 Barbie movies so like a third of the Barbie movies have a carriage that goes along with it. And so I figured we'd rank these carriages based off of three pieces of criteria. First of all, how functional they are, like how many Barbies can we fit into these carriages and like how well do they roll, you know, because like what else does a carriage do? And then second of all, how movie accurate they are because I feel like that's important. And then third, just like how cool they are, what makes them stand out amongst the others. Oh, I did also want to mention that there are two carriages that I wasn't able to get new in box. So the 12 Dancing Princess one and the Princess and the Popstar ones are already out of their boxes, but we'll still be able to rank them. And so I feel like that's what matters. I figured we'd go from oldest to newest. So starting with Barbie and the Nutcracker and ending with Barbie, Mariposa and the Fairy Princess. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Okay, so first up is Barbie in the Nutcracker. This is the box. It's got the logo up there, and then the sides are cute because it's got all of the characters on the sides. Then the back. And then also something that I liked is that at the top they've got like a little story about the Nutcracker. Oh, and I'm just noticing there's stuff at the bottom. Look, it's Barbie. Cute. Okay, let's open this. Oh, it smells like old cardboard. <laughs> Oh, I like the minimal packaging on the older dolls stuff. Oh, and there's a little booklet in here. So it's got like um, other Barbies that they were advertising at the time. And it's got a little nutcracker section, which I thought was cool. Super cute. I like that. I wish they still did that. She's a little crusty. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I mean in a second, but she's like, Got some residue on the tail that I'm not too sure what that's about. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so she comes with these little accessories. She comes with her own little hairbrush for the horse and little horseshoes. I'm not sure I'm gonna show you guys. Horseshoes, isn't that such a good idea? I wonder if, well, they gotta actually fit on the horse. Okay, so here's marzipan. And this is what I mean by crusty, please focus. But like her tail, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it because of the lighting, but her tail is like emitting this like orange crustiness. Oh, and we've got some discoloration <laughs> at the top of her hair there. It's turning green, but that's not the fault of this carriage. It's just that it's older and so those things happen. So I won't knock points off for that. Oh, you can really see the crustiness uh, down here. <laughs> that's so gross. I don't know what that is i'll figure it out because i was thinking if i'm gonna keep any of these it should be like the og3 like rapunzel nutcracker and swan lake might be the ones i keep anyways i'm getting off track <laughs> this is the sleigh looks like this and one thing i do admire about the earlier um carriages is that the horses are from the movie so it's not like just some random horse like we're familiar with the horse, they have a name because they were in the movie, which is something I really like, which I feel like gives this carriage bonus points. Now you can look at my criteria. So first of all, the functionality. How many dolls can fit in here? So I've got Erica, she can fit in. Annalise, she fits in two. It can carry two dolls. <laughs> um, and there's no wheels on this one. So it's more of a sleigh. And so I feel like that makes it harder to pull it against like hardwood but it works great on carpet and then movie accuracy i feel like is pretty good it's got like the little balls on the side and the balls on the back the movie does have two benches though so there's like the back bench and the front bench which the toy does not have so there's that also i feel like marzipan in the movie is more of a purple than this marzipan is more of like a pink but other than that i feel like it's pretty accurate and then the last thing how cool was it well i do like the horseshoes i like that you can put horseshoes on it that was fun but I don't think it's like that cool like it's just kind of a sleigh there's nothing else really special to it so I feel like right now the Nutcracker carriage belongs like somewhere in the middle of the list I'm not too sure how I'm gonna show these rankings maybe I'll put something on the screen or maybe I'll wait till the end to reveal it but uh yeah for right now marzipan and the candy sleigh is on the middle of the list 
Okay, so next up is the Rapunzel carriage. And like I said, I'm excited about this one because I had it as a kid. So I'll show you guys the box. So it looks like this. And then it's got that on both sides. And then on the back, it looks like this. Botticelli might be my favorite Barbie horse. Oh wait, no, what about Hervé? He's a pretty good horse, but I don't think that that's him in the Prince and the Popper set, so. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, so plot twist, the Rapunzel carriage also comes with horseshoes and a hairbrush, just like the Nutcracker carriage, so there is that. And here's Botticelli. He is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure he is a he, <laughs> if I'm remembering the movie right. There is a little bit of discoloration in the hair, but again, he's old. And here is the carriage, which I think my favorite part about it is the wheels. They're so big, I love them. And then you've got a cute little heart thing at the top with Rapunzel and the prince, and then a mirror on the other side, which is really cool to see because I think as a kid it broke off, and so I don't even remember what was on there, and so... I was like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so that is the Rapunzel carriage. I feel like I like it better than the Nutcracker one, but that could be my bias talking. So let's go through their criteria. First of all, functionality. Can we fit two dolls in here? <laughs> yes, we can fit Erica and Annalise in the carriage. Second of all, movie accuracy. The Rapunzel carriage is definitely a lot cooler in the movie. Lots more flowers and stuff. But I feel like for what they did on the carriage, I feel like it is pretty accurate. Botticelli looks purple in the movie, but this could just be my screenshot. <laughs> and they've got like this big heart reef in the movie, which I feel like they replaced with the picture, which I kind of like the change. And I really like how the wheels in the movie also have that little heart design like um, this one has on the wheels as well. So I feel like I like this one better than the Nutcracker one. So it has bumped it up to first place. I've decided that now we're dealing with first place instead of the middle of the list. <laughs> so now it goes Rapunzel carriage and then uh, Nutcracker carriage. So next we have Swan Lake, which we got back here. Swan Lake which is like one of the most aesthetically pleasing movies, but I don't think I like the carriage very much just by looking at it in the box, but I'll show you guys it anyways. I'm just not a big fan of the big swans. I don't know what's up with them, but I just don't really like them. And the fact that they're pink, I don't know. But I do like that we got Lila in it, which is fun. So it's a unicorn. And then the back of the box is like this. And this is the one side of the box and the other is blank. I remember being so obsessed with the Kellys as a kid. I don't know what it was about them. Maybe the fact that they're like animals, but I wanted them so bad. I don't think I had any of them, but I wanted them. And now I kind of want to buy them all. <laughs> and guess what we've got? That's right, a hairbrush and horseshoes. But yeah, it looks the same as the Rapunzel ones. Okay, so Lila definitely has the most discoloration out of all of them, but I feel like it kind of gives like an ombre effect in a way, but you can really see how bad it is up at the top there, and it's a little bit on the tail as well. But something that is cool about her is that she's got little fairy clips in her mane, which is super cute, and of course, the fact that she's a unicorn is definitely a win. And then the carriage looks like this. <laughs> Very pink and sort of blue. Okay, so first up, functionality. I feel like they'll fit, but we'll try anyways. <laughs> yep, two dolls fit. Can you see that? Hopefully. And then next, movie accurate. I really don't remember it looking like this in the movie, but we'll see. From the screenshot I have, it looks like there are just wings on the side of the carriage, not like a full swan thing. And also the colors are a bit off. Like it doesn't look like there is this pink at the top. It almost looks like this doesn't even exist in the movie and the wheels are actually gold in the movie not blue yeah i don't know there's something about it like it is pretty similar but it feels like it looks really different i don't know i think you guys could probably tell from when i first introduced this carriage but i don't like it very much so i'm gonna put it a uh, third right now for with the top three that we have swan lake is third okay next up is princess and the pauper now this one i think was used so the box is a little bit um damaged up but that's okay you can still get a good look at it looks like this um there's nothing on the sides but on the back it looks like this okay let's open one random thing that i like about the ones after princess and the popper is that they have the little cardboard cutouts of the dolls in the box which i just think is a really nice touch so there's a lot more differences on the princess and the popper one it looks like they kind of went away from their original model that they had with the first three so first of all we've got two horses so i'm assuming this one is kind of like erica's horse because it's got purple bows on it and this one's kind of like annalise's because it's got 
the pink bows on it. And then the carriage has two seats on it instead of one. It looks like this. And it's got little ruffles on the side, which I think is really cute because I do not remember mine having ruffles. I wonder if they just fell out, but yeah, that's pretty cute. The only thing is I don't remember my carriage having dark crystal ball things like this. Like I think that mine were like a light purple or something. But let's see how these horses fit in here because I remember this thing breaking a lot as a child. So I'll keep that in mind when ranking it. Okay, functionality. I feel like both of the girls are gonna fit in the back. So that's good. Their dresses do get a bit scrunched, but they do fit. And then you could also put one in the front, I think. I don't think they would both fit in the front as well. No, they do, but it'd be a tight squeeze. But I feel like that's bonus points. It can fit four dolls. Okay, so I couldn't really get a picture of the full carriage, but it does have gold wheels, just like the toy does. And it does have the two purple seats and little pink heart in the back. And I would say it actually is pretty movie accurate. And as far as cool factor goes, I mean, there's two seats. So that's pretty good. I feel like I might have to put it at second place right now. So right behind Rapunzel's and then we've got the Nutcracker and then Swan Lake. I feel like that's where it should be for the moment. Oh, I did not mean to press that. <laughs> it's written in your heart. Good song though. Princess and the Popper sliding in at number two. I actually do really like that carriage. I think it's pretty. Okay, so next up is the 12 Dancing Princesses, which like I said, I don't have it new in box, but I do have the carriage right here. So first off, here's the horse, which I gotta say, I love the little pink accent on the hooves and on the nose and the hair is nice and long, even though it is a bit ratty after all these years. And then this is the carriage. So the cool thing about the Princess and the Popper carriage is that it extends. So let me see if I remember how to do that. I think you just pull it. So now it can fit like a bunch. And so I feel like that gives it bonus points for sure. So I'm not sure how it's supposed to fit on the horse, um, but this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> I feel like that's wrong, but I also don't have a saddle with this one. So maybe I'm missing a part. I know I have enough Barbies to test like how many we could fit in here, but I don't feel like getting up and getting them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the word for it in the fact that we could probably fit quite a few in here. Although Erica and Annalise are taking up a lot of space in the front row. See, like I feel like if I were to put two more in here, it would just be crowded. But I will give it bonus points because that still is a pretty cool feature to have. So functionality, pretty good. So the only shot I have of this carriage in the movie, like you don't even really see the full carriage, but it is a really big carriage just like it is in the movie. And the wheels look pretty similar, so I'll give it that. And then for coolness, I feel like it beats out almost all of these carriages. I still feel like Rapunzel's is number one for me. There's something about that spinning heart that I like, and I just think it's the prettiest carriage so far. So 12 Dancing Princesses is gonna go to the slot number two, I think, for now. So I'm gonna put it there. Okay, the island princess. So this carriage actually came all the way from Spain, and so that was fun to uh, deal with shipping, but that's okay. <laughs> this is the box. It actually comes with a doll, which I feel like bonus points for that. Looks like that at the front. The sides are pretty boring, but still pretty. The back looks like this. And I feel like this carriage looks an awful lot like the Princess and the Popper one, but that's okay. I feel like I got an army starting up here. <laughs> like with all the carriages lined up, it looks kind of intimidating. Like what's about to go down, you know? Okay, so we got some discoloring on this carriage as well, but I feel like it's funny because of where like the cardboard and stuff was sitting. There's just a direct line. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with this lighting, but it's right around here. There's just this big line and there's a little bit of green here as well, but this is the carriage. I like how there's this peacock at the front of it and it is very similar to the Prince and the Popper one. So clearly they use the same design on that one. But I think what makes it special is that it comes with Azul, the peacock, and he can sit right there. There he is, that's where he belongs. He does take up room from now having a Barbie sit there, but you can always take him off and put your Barbies on there. And then the horses, again, are pretty similar to the Prince and the Popper ones, except for instead of the little feathery things, they've got these little purple clips in their hair. So I'd say functionality is probably the same as the Prince and the Popper one. Let me check the movie accuracy. Okay, so I'd say it is pretty accurate to the movie. All of the colors are pretty much the same. The only thing is that in the movie, there are those like flowers on the side of it. But besides that, I'd say it's pretty accurate. And as far as like how cool it is, it's probably on the same level of the Prince and the Popper one since they're basically the same, but this one does have a Zool. Oh, and it did come with the doll too, which I'll show you guys. She looks like this. And I've seen the Island Princess a few times and I have no idea 
who this girl is, but she is cute, so I'll put her in the carriage. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say because we got a doll and because we got Azul, I'll put it just above the princess and the pauper, or is it better than the 12 Dancing Princess one? No, the 12 Dancing Princess one's cool, so yeah, this one I'll put at third for now. Okay, next up is Barbie and the Diamond Castle. This is the box. This is the back. And the sides are going back to what we saw with the Nutcracker where they had the characters on the sides, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so here's the very sparkly pink horse. And then this is the first carriage we've had that has needed batteries because it has a little music effect thingy. This is what it looks like. And then you press up here. And it makes like galloping noises and plays that one song and has lights, which I think if that doesn't bring it to number one, I don't know what would. Functionality, I'm not too sure if both of these girls will be able to fit in here. But there's Annalise. And <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a tight squeeze, but they totally fit in there. Now, is it the cutest? It's not my personal favorite. Aesthetic wise, I still think the Rapunzel one is my favorite one. But let's see how movie accurate it is. Whoa, okay, so that's super movie accurate. The horse in the movie isn't as sparkly, but besides that, I feel like it's basically a pretty good replica. And then obviously the cool factor is off the charts because of the sound effects. So I feel like I gotta put it at number one. So Diamond Castle, you're gonna be at our number one spot. Okay, I just noticed something really cool. There's wheels at the bottom of the horse's feet and so it helps it wheel the carriage along, which I feel like that's a pretty good feature to have. Okay, I must say that the Prince and the Pauper and Island Princess carriages are getting very annoying to move because of their horses don't stay attached. And so they might have to go farther back on the list. I don't know, they're annoying me. Okay, next up is the Three Musketeers, which is pretty different from the rest of the carriages because the rest are all horse-drawn carriage, whereas this one turns into a balloon, which is pretty nifty. So that's the front and that's the back. And on the side, it just shows how it transforms into a hot air balloon. Oh my gosh, guys, I could win a trip to the ultimate Barbie party. <laughs> Do you think it's still valid? <laughs> okay, so here is the Three Musketeers carriage and now let's turn it into a balloon. So first you take it out of the little thing and then you press the button at the top and bam, it's a balloon. And I must say it is a pretty cool little thing, but my only thing is that I feel like I wish it had something more to keep it in place while it's part of a carriage because there isn't really anything locking it in there. But besides that, I think that this one's really cool and it might be my favorite one. But then I feel like that's bad because it's not even like <laughs> a traditional carriage, but I feel like that makes it even better. Like if I was a child, I would have been obsessed with this if I had it. Like it turns into a balloon. What more could you want? <laughs> I should go through the criteria. Okay, so can the dolls fit? Yes. Not very well, but they can fit. Oh, I'll show you. Ta-da! <laughs> That's the dolls fitting in the carriage. And then as far as movie accuracy, I'm sure it looks cooler in the movie because it's a hot air balloon, but I'll look anyways. Yeah, it's definitely a lot cooler in the movie, but it is still pink and purple, which is what it is in the toy form as well. For how cool it is, I feel like it's the coolest one. It turns into a hot air balloon. Like what more could you want? Okay, I'm putting it at number one because this is my list and I think it's really cool. See, the thing is that I feel like a lot of people are gonna say if they like the older ones because they're like more classic and stuff and the newer ones like this and the Diamond Castle are more like gimmicky, but I like the gimmicks. It makes it more fun. So yeah, I'm putting it at number one because I wanna. Like, yeah, it doesn't have a horse, but this just proves that not all carriages need horses. So I like that. Okay, next up is Barbie in a fashion fairy tale. So this is what the box looks like. And the sides both look the same with the picture of them. And the back just has photos of the movie. So before I show you guys this carriage, I wanted to say a quick thank you to my friend Carrie because I wasn't able to get this one shipped to me and so I had to get it shipped to her and then she shipped it to me. So thank you Carrie for doing that. And also she's a YouTuber, so you should go subscribe. She does like Disney vlogs and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about fashion fairy tales. So first we have the horse, it looks like this, and it's got little like ballet slippers on the bottom of it, which is cute. And then we have the carriage, which I feel like this one might be one of the most iconic Barbie movie carriages, because it was one of the first ones that came to mind for me, mainly because I feel like the moment in the movie was just so memorable, like when it pulls up and it's got like the TV and you can like 
put down the roof and so I'll show you guys that. So basically you just take it apart and then it's kind of hard to do it, not on a surface, but you just push it down Aha. like that. And then you've got like an open canopy. So let's look at the functionality. First of all, can we fit both girls in there? You can, but it's a very tight squeeze, but that's what it looks like with the girls inside. Now let's see the movie accuracy. Okay, so I feel like it is pretty accurate. It almost looks more purple in the movie than it is in the toy. Like I feel like it's more pink in the toy version, but that's okay. And also the canopy part looks more sparkly in the movie, but I feel like they did an okay job with how they represented the sparkles on the carriage. I also like how on the toy, it's got the little um, BRB princess license plate on the side, which I just think is so cute. I don't know, maybe I'm just biased to this carriage just because I like it in the movie, but I feel like this one might be my new number one. Like, yeah, there's no music and it doesn't turn into a balloon, but I feel like it has a good mix of like gimmicky fun stuff with the canopy and like the classic carriage with like everything else. So yeah, I'm gonna put it at number one. Also, it's got a TV, so like, how could it not be number one? Okay, next up we have Princess Charm School, which I also feel like is another really iconic one. Maybe it's just because of the moment in the movie where she like walks out and then he pulls up with this carriage. But yeah, this is the front of the box, this is the side of the box, and this is the back. Okay, so this one I also bought used, so it should be easier to take out. Oh, this was also the one where the seller was like, oh, I'll throw in the DVD for you for free in case you and your little one haven't gotten a chance to see the movie yet. And I was just like, cool, thanks. <laughs> Me and my non-existent child will love to rewatch the movie on DVD, even though I already have them all on DVD. That's okay. Okay, so here is the horse. She's got cute little pink streaks and then she's got the Barbie logo on her saddle there. And then here is the carriage part and it looks like this on the top, which as you can see, there's little like stickers of little um, teacups, which I'm very happy that the person who owned this before me already did them because they did them perfectly. But basically you just open this and then press this little button. How cool is that? I wonder if it's batteries. It looks like it might be batteries, so there was already batteries in here, which is cool, and yeah, I don't know, I just feel like this is really cool. I'm down for this one. Functionality, I feel like we can fit both of the girls in here. Oh, <laughs> not very well, like they do fit in, but the bar in the middle is kind of a pain, so they're kind of sitting like this, but that's okay. Movie accuracy, I feel like it's pretty accurate, but let me double check. Oh, okay, so it looks a lot cooler in the movie, like, the benches, I don't know. There's just something about it. It definitely looks cooler in the movie. Like I'd say it is pretty accurate, but definitely like the embellishments and stuff are a lot cooler in the movie. But the horse is like almost identical. She's got like the same hair and everything, which is cool. But I don't know. There's something about this one that I really like. I just can't decide if I like it more than the hot air balloon one. Like, is it cooler than that one? I feel like for right now, I'm gonna say yes. Maybe I'll change my mind after we look at the last two, but I think I'm gonna put it at number two. Okay, my army is growing. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next movie, which is Princess and the Pop Star, which like I said, I don't have it new in box. This is the horse. She looks like this. And this is the carriage. It looks like this. And the seller actually gave me as well the dolls. Now they're not in the best shape. Obviously they've been very loved, but this was the first time I got to try to do like the curling hair thing where like you fix the doll's hair. And I feel like I did a pretty good job. So I was proud of myself in that. The only thing is that because I curled them this way, you can't do like the flipping head thing that these girls do where you can like flip it around and then she has the purple hair. And so I had to make the choice to make them like this permanently, but I still feel like I did a pretty good job. Also, this carriage is supposed to be able to sing, but I just put the batteries in and it won't work. And so that makes me upset, but sometimes that's just how things go in life. So I feel like I should take that into consideration while I'm ranking it, which is that it's supposed to sing and it looks like it's supposed to light up as well. Okay, and I feel like it is pretty movie accurate. And as far as coolness goes, like I said, I feel like I should rank it on the same scale that the Diamond Castle one was on because that one also had sound. Um, and this one's supposed to have sound, even though it doesn't. So I think I'm gonna put it around there. I don't think I like it more than the Diamond Castle one because that one I think was cooler. But then I am also like, I think I like the Rapunzel one more than this one. So I think I'm gonna put it right there in between those two. So that brings us to our last carriage, which is the Mariposa and the Fairy Princess carriage. Looks like this. This is the side of the box. And this is the back of the box. All right, let's open it. Ooh, the wings flap. That's fun. Okay, so here is the horse, or should I say 
Pegasus. And the cool thing is, her wings actually do flap. Look, and then when you like wheel her on the floor, it makes the wings flap. <laughs> I'll show you guys it in a second. And so here is the chariot, I guess is what this would be called. Um, it is pretty cool. It's got like little stands so that the dolls can stand up in there. And then when the wheels go, the clouds like do stuff and the fairies spin. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cool, I have to say. Like, for this being the last one, like, I feel like from the Nutcracker up to this one, like, you can definitely see how um, the toys have changed over the years, which I think is cool and, like, developed and transformed. So the stands work perfectly. Like, these dolls fit in here really well, super secure. I feel like this is a really weird thing to see, like, Erica on this chariot, but I'm kind of here for it, you know? Like, she deserves it. And this girl, like, kind of goes really well with the purple. So there's that. Let's see how movie accurate this one is. So from the screenshot that I have, it looks pretty legit. There is no like clouds on the side and it seems to be a bit more purple than pink, but it is kind of hard to see with this screenshot. So I'm gonna say it is pretty movie accurate. And as far as coolness factor, it's definitely pretty cool. I mean, like it's a chariot and a Pegasus and the wings flap, so. Oh, this is hard. I feel like it's cool, but it's not as cool as some of the other ones. So I think I'm gonna put it behind Rapunzel, but in front of Princess and the Pop Star. Okay, now that I've seen them all, I feel like now I should be able to rearrange them if I don't think that this is the right order. I feel like the Nutcracker one should be higher up because it's the first one and it is really pretty. I'm not sure how high up though. Maybe just like behind the 12 dancing princess one. The more I move the princess and the popper and the island princess ones, the more I hate them because they're so flimsy and just terrible. So I feel like they deserve to be at the bottom of the list because they're annoying me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put Nutcracker here. And then what about the top of my list? I feel like I stand by this. I feel like this is pretty accurate. I still feel like my favorite one might be the Rapunzel one, and so part of me wants to move it up to like number two. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I think it's number two, so I'm gonna move Rapunzel up to number two. I feel like it's almost number one, but that fashion fairy tale one is really cool, so I'm gonna keep that one at number one. Okay, so that's my list. I've ranked them all. Should I start from like the back and like show you guys? Ooh, I'll get my phone and I can give you guys a closer look at my list. Okay, you ready? I am. <laughs> So at the bottom of the list, we have Swan Lake, which makes me sad because it's one of my favorite Barbie movies, but the carriage, I just feel like didn't deliver and was a little bit ugly. And so it's number 12. Then next we have Princess and the Popper. Who would have thought it would rank a Princess and the Popper related thing this low? But this is the most annoying thing I've ever dealt with in my life. <laughs> also, it's kind of basic. So number 11. Okay, I'm done with you. And then number 10, we have Island Princess, which I feel like is basically the exact same carriage as <laughs> <laughs> princess and the popper and it's also super annoying and then at number nine we have barbie and the nutcracker which was a pretty classic carriage i think it's really beautiful yeah it's really pretty and i like it and i'm sad it's far back but it's kind of boring <laughs> at number eight we have barbie and the 12 dancing princesses which was really cool because it extended and so this is where it is <laughs> what number are we on 12 11 10 9 8 number 7 we have princess and the pop star who would have thought that it would rank something princess and the pop star related this high but it did have sound even though we never got to hear it and this is the horse <laughs> at number 6 we have barbie mariposa and the fairy princess and its wings flap which is why it made it this high on the list see look how cool is that i'd say pretty cool so number six for sure. Is that the number we're on? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yes. Okay. <laughs> number five is Diamond Castle. It's pretty cool, even though I personally think it's a little bit ugly. <laughs> and it also has sounds. Come on. There we go. Riding on this carriage ride that we call life. <laughs> I haven't heard that song in a while. Okay. Okay. And then number, what is this? Five? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Number four, we have the uh, Three Musketeers one that turns into a balloon. Then number three, we have the Princess Charm School one, which I think is a good mix of gimmick and class. <laughs> this is where you press the button. And then the thing comes up and now it's a canopy. At number two, I have the Rapunzel carriage, which is just very special to my heart. And also I think it's the prettiest carriage out of all of these ones. And it has the little flippity-doo-dah thing. And her hair is extra long. 
which we love to see. And then at number one, we have Barbie in a fashion fairy tale. What more could you want from a carriage? It's got a TV and a canopy that I don't feel like putting up because it's hard to do with one hand. But you already saw it earlier, so that's okay. <laughs> all right, so that is my list of all of the Barbie movie carriages ranked. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know down below which Barbie carriage was your favorite or which one you had as a kid. I can't wait to read all about it. Anyways, guys, my name is Caitlin. You can follow me everywhere at Kate Loves Disney. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. But that's all I have to say for today. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon. And if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with all these carriages, um, I'm also wondering that. I'm not sure. I think I might try to sell some of these because I don't think I need all 12 Barbie movie carriages, but yeah, this was fun, so I think it was worth it.